Hello and welcome. We are going to look at question 2 of a new paper, chemistry paper 2, the year 2020. The atomic numbers of X, Y and Z are 12, 14 and 17 respectively. Write the electronic configuration of the ion formed by X. So that means our X corresponds to 12 because they say it respectively. So that means our X has 12 as the atomic number, Y has 14, and Z will have 17. However, we want to write the electronic configuration of the ion. So one thing to note is that our X has atomic number of 12. That means it has 12 electrons because it has 12 protons. So electronic configuration of the atom of X is 2, 8, 2. However, for this one, to become an ion, it will lose the last two electrons. That means the electronic configuration will become 2, 8. So the answer is 2, 8. Or we can set 2, 8. Or we can set 2 to 8, depending on which one your teacher might prefer. The electronic configuration of the ion formed by Y. So our Y, as we can see, it has 14 protons and electrons. So the atom of Y will have 284. Now, there is some dilemma here because this one can lose or gain. But in this case, let, let's consider it to be an unmetal and to have to gain 4 more electrons to become stable. So that the ion becomes 288. So we are writing electronic configurations of the ion. So that means our ion will be that one, while for X it lost two electrons, and that means for X it was that. So the answer for Y becomes 288. We have part B. Element Z can react with both elements X and Y to form compound Q and R respectively. That means when element Z reacts with X, we form Q. And if Z reacts with Y, we form R. Write the formula of the compound that can be formed between X and Z. So we have two elements. We have Z and we have X. So all we need to know is to be able to identify the valences of element Z and element X. So let's do that very fast. So our X has atomic number 12. So actually we shall see that the valence of X is 2. So X has a valence of 2. While our Y, our Z, sorry, has 2, 8, 7. So the valence of our Z will be the extra one electron to get. So the valence of Z is 1. So if I want to come up with the formula, I'll have to interchange the valences or you can just use logic and come up with the correct answer so the answer becomes xz2 however we can also accept the other way around if at all you start with z 2x although we could prefer to start with the metal however this is also correct in its own aspect then lastly we have the formula of the compound that can be formed between x and between z and y now for that one, our Y will have electron configuration 2, 8, 4, so valence is 4, so Y has valence 4, our Z has valence 1. So if we have to interchange the valences, we shall end up with YZ4. So that becomes our answer, or you can start with Z, and it's also accepted. Then Roman 2, which of the compounds Q and R will conduct electricity when in molten state? So for it to conduct electricity, you must be ionic. So we have to go back to our question and see between Q and R, which one is ionic? So if you have to look at compound Q, it is formed between Z and X. Our X is a metal, our Z is a non-metal. And reactions between metals and non-metals, usually they are ionic so probably our answer will be q so let's look at 
r r is between y and z they are both non metals so these ones will prefer sharing because they both want to gain none is willing to lose electrons so the best answer will become q q becomes the compound that will conduct electricity in molten state because it is ionic or it consists of ions so in molten form these ions are free to move and thus they can conduct electricity usually electricity in molten or in liquid form we conduct it with the help of ions and because this one is an ionic compound obviously in molten form it will conduct electricity that's all i had for you thanks for watching stay safe don't forget to like share comment and subscribe